This tutorial has been brought to you by Profitable Business Guide, your online marketing guide. Welcome to Elegant Themes, using the page template feature. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of the brand new page template feature from Elegant Themes. In order to use this exciting new feature, you will need to have the latest version of your Elegant Theme installed. This can be accomplished by logging into the Elegant Theme website, choosing your theme, and downloading the updated theme. To determine whether or not you have the latest theme installed, open up any one of your pages and look under Page Attributes on the right hand side. You should see the following template option and drop down. If you do not see these options, you do not have the latest version and will need to download and install. If you have never upgraded a theme, please visit the Elegant Theme Forum for assistance or go to the URL below for instructions via the WordPress.org support page. Depending on the browser and operating system you are using, some pages may look different. I am using a Mac running Leopard and the latest version of Firefox. For this tutorial, we will use the professional theme. However, the steps are the same for all elegant themes. Before we get started, make sure you have a sufficient amount of data to experiment with. If you are a new subscriber, you may want to import sample data to follow along. Please reference the sample data tutorial for instructions. Beneath the Page Attributes section on the right-hand side of the page is the new template drop-down menu. If we click on the down arrow, we are presented with a list of the page templates. The first choice is the default template, which leaves the sidebar intact as shown here. The next choice is the blog option. The blog page allows you to bring your blog posts into the page environment via categories. Let's take a look at the options on the right side of the page under the Page Template Settings. The first option is Full Width Page. If we click on the Preview Changes button, we can see the right sidebar is present. Now, let's enable this option, choose Update, and preview the page again. The sidebar is no longer present, and the page is now shown at its full width. Back on the blog page, we will uncheck the width and check the blog style mode option. Click the Update button and preview the page. As you can see, there are no posts to be displayed which has generated a no results found message. This is because we have not chosen a category for the page template to pull from. Now let's go back to the blog page. This time we will select a blog category from the choices presented. Place a check next to blog, click update and preview the page. The page is now populated with all posts tagged with the category of blog. If we change the category to featured, update and preview the page, we will now see only posts tagged with featured. However, I have inserted a read more tag on the first post and it's not showing. This is because we have the page currently set to blog style mode which displays the entire blog post by default. If we go back to our page and uncheck the blog style mode setting and preview the page again, the read more button is now visible. Maybe you only want the blog text to show and not all of the thumbnails. Place a check next to the hide auto thumbnail setting and now when we preview the page, the photos are gone leaving only the text. The last option is number of posts, which is self-explanatory. The next option is contact page. 
Under the page template settings, there are three options. The first is the full page width, which has been covered. The second is regenerate CAPTCHA numbers. Although the CAPTCHA will regenerate on a page refresh, it stays the same if a user types the incorrect value. If you would like the CAPTCHA to regenerate on a user error, check this box. The last and most important of the three fields is the Email To setting. This field is populated with the address that you would like the email to be sent. At the time of this recording, it is not possible to send to multiple email addresses. After all of the settings have been configured, we can click on Update and preview the page. The contact form has been generated and is fully functional. The next option is Full Width Page. This is the opposite of the default page option as shown here. As you can see, the sidebar is no longer accessible. However, we now have the entire page real estate to work with. Moving along, we come to the next option which is Gallery Page. This is another powerful template that allows you to create a gallery in minutes. This also works off the post categories. Under the page template settings, there are three options. The first is the full page width, which has been covered. The second option is the number of posts. Although this is a gallery, it still pulls from the posts, so you will need to set this accordingly. For example, if we were to set the post number to 1, update the page and preview, we can see that we have one photo, which isn't very exciting. However, if we change the number of posts per page to 15, update the page and preview, well, now things get more interesting. As we hover over each image, we are presented with two choices. The magnifying glass on the left will enlarge the photo. Once enlarged, we can advance to the next photo or return to the previous photo. The X on the top right corner will exit the slideshow. The square icon with the arrow will take the visitor to the original blog post. Remember, the page is made up of blog posts that contain certain categories. In this case, we are seeing every post under the portfolio category. You get the best of both worlds with the gallery template as you can showcase your photos and your blog posts. Add some creativity into the mix and there are plenty of ways to use this powerful feature. The next template is the login page. There is only one option for this template since it only performs one job and that is a login page. If we update the page and click on the preview button we can see it is a simple login page. In its most basic form, it creates a stylized login page instead of having users or other administrators use the boring WordPress front end page shown here. Mac users will see an unformatted page. This is a bug exclusive to the Mac platform and as of the recording of this tutorial, the Elegant Themes support team is working on a fix for the next release. The next option on the page template list is Search Page. Just like the Login Page template, this only has one option under the template settings, as it too only performs one function. When we update and preview this page, we see a nicely formatted search box that would be useful in many different scenarios. Our last page template is the sitemap page. This also only has one option under the template settings. I'm going to remove the filler text from this page to show you this feature in all of its glory. If we choose update and preview changes, we can see that our entire site is laid out in a nice and neat sitemap format. A definite need for anyone with a mid-size to large site. 
This concludes using the page template feature. As always, if you should have further questions, please visit the Elegant Theme Forum where our friendly and knowledgeable moderators are standing by to lend a hand. Thank you and have a successful day.